Mario Yoshi. This is... I don't know. What is this, about 50-50 on paper? Maybe nah, I, I'd give Yoshi 60-40, because Mario's appropriately floaty enough for Yoshi to get good combos, and Mario also, he really struggles getting the kills, um, in my opinion. It, it seems like... nice. It seems like Mario is... Like, he's really strong gimping, right? Um, but can't really gimp Yoshi, uh, and his moves to break armor aren't really, like, what you approach with, or what, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, totally. Yoshi really just armors him. Oh, that was a terrible choice. Uh, I don't know about the down smash. Interesting one again. The, re the uh, fireball tech chase really works well, though, in this, because Yoshi, like, although he can parry, He might not be able, like, he'll parry the fireball, but is the next hitbox there, if you're quick enough. It seems, like Yoshi, oh, it seems like Yoshi struggles to edgeguard Mario if he's below at off stage. Like, what are his options there? Does he have any? Um, I'm not sure. I don't see it often enough uh, to know what the best choice is. Because I was, I was just watching the old man, he was, it looked like he was waiting for, uh, for ammo to like, square up ledge and then attack from there, and I just wasn't sure if there were, if there were options. Mm -hmm. Beef maybe has a point with low forward smash, since the head is invincible. But... This is a close match. Off stage, but this, this is the problem. Like most, like other characters can get Yoshi off stage and rack up so much more damage. But that was like a good edge guard. But um, he didn't complete the first one. A lot of people get very um, selfish or greedy, rather. deciding to avoid that kind of thing. You're still pro you're like drifting towards Yoshi and he just has to walk away and up smash and it'll be everything. Hmm, that's not supposed to be. No jump. Pursue him, do something. Jesus Christ. I think he's scared of that uh there. Good choice. Or maybe he is, I don't know. Can't get inside the head of a dog. Good uh, armor. Pramo hasn't adjusted for DI once. Nice. How do you finish? Up air, up air. Oh.
Yeah, he's just gonna pressure closer and closer. Good act. Nobody, not nobody, but no one. Um, <laughs> rhythm is just not really paid attention to by people. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. Um, like they don't acknowledge their own rhythmic play. And they also don't try to get a read on other people's rhythm, so they don't try to time anyone out. See, I, I, I try to time other people, but I'm not really cognizant of my own. Yeah, you have a very I just have my own standard game. standard rhythm, I guess. Like. You can kind of get the, the quick reads, like on when an up B is coming or when the roll is coming. <laughs> like, what's happening next. Any other time. Any other. Like, I know I'm going to get hit by a down there and then a forward smash is going to come. Nice. Good spacing. Such a because he's saying that his rhythm is something else. Like he's really, really good at altering constantly. Like he can all of a sudden go from extreme like patience and camping, and then just be all in your face, rushing down with every move possible. I feel like it's hard to do though, like even in like regular sports, like basketball to like slow a game down. That's like really quick. But it's hard to do. Of any game. Yeah, that's why the best players are like, you know, they can do that kind of thing. Like, you know, Mark Jackson was really good at slowing everything down, but he played at only his pace. Then you have someone, you know, like these days, like, um, like Westbrook is a hundred percent all the time. He doesn't have uh, uh, a slow mode. He's charging down the court, clearing it in like five strides, and he's getting there. But like, some people can lull you to sleep and then explode. So speak good that, do you think it's harder to speed somebody up in this game or slow someone down? In turn, like... Like slow uh, the game down, just speed it up. Um, it's much harder to slow it down I think because not a lot of people want to wait um, there's a reason that only a very small percent of players end up like getting top eight you know what I mean yeah because in order to succeed you have to play that way you know you you can't you can't succeed with a, a full-blown style of rushdown. Um, aggression is not rewarded. So, was I'd be sorry. I said, God, I wish it was. I'd be so good. <laughs> but on the other hand, like the ability to suddenly turn it on is very disrupting, and is a reason why you know certain players. Boom, Isaiah, those kind of guys, like, 
excel in like mid match. Like boom, boom downloads you 